Rice All-American Felipe Lopez blocks a shot. Here's Lopez. Felipe Lopez and Rice High came away. City champ. Basketball was, you know, the main reason why I was getting all this attention. I really wasn't looking to, you know, create a hype or anything else like that. I just saw a great opportunity for me to make friends because I wasn't able to speak the language at that time. to the United States, not for basketball reasons. A lot of people felt like, oh, you know, I made it to the NBA, so therefore, you know, uh, I moved here for sports kind of reason. It, it, it was just more my father have already moved to the state, and we just wanted to move here for, for a better living, like, you know, just looking for uh, new opportunities. The American dream. I immediately just moved to the South Bronx. The whole transition was a little bit tougher because I was just kind of in the cave back in DR. You know, we had a nice, you know, the family, we had the friends and, you know, moving to the Bronx where, you know, as soon as I came here, it was almost like an epidemic. It was drugs all over the place. It was just people shooting drugs. It was cocaine, it was crack. And it was visual. Like I was able to see these things like happening right in front of my face. So I was like, whoa, like, you know, it was, uh, it was a shocking uh, where I needed to protect myself you know, for all those situations because I was not used to seeing those things. I told myself when I play uh, with the Timberwolves, and even though my career ended like 2003, I was able to still be connected with the community and through the people because of my work that I have done in the community. I've been an NBA Cares ambassador for the past five years. He has helped me to also take some of the programs that we have in the NBA and bring it to our community, like the South Bronx, where I'm at, or Washington Heights. I wanted to make sure that I represent for the all Latinos that always came and supported me when I play in the NBA. When I created the Felipe Lopez Foundation, it was just more an extension of what I was doing with the NBA. No, if you have the basketball, it's your time to shine. Do what you're going to do best, like break somebody down, make a play for somebody else. All right? So that's one of the things that we're going to continue to work. I don't like to limit any of you guys who say, oh, you're going to be just this, you're going to be just that. As you continue to evolve, yeah, your, your role is going to be a little bit more defined. But I want you to work on every single thing. We all make mistakes, and I know that. But I want to make sure that guys make mistakes doing the right kind of thing, not being on the side cell, not being able to look for things. What does New York City mean to you, specifically the South Bronx? Well, that's my home, and really, I have so much love for the South Bronx. And anyone that grew up in any borough, they always identify with their borough, you know, even though we're New Yorkers. And to me, the South Bronx just holds so, such a special place in my heart. For me to make it to the NBA and, and be able to come back and just, you know, bring some hope to some of these youngsters when they, when they speak to me, they're not just speaking to a regular person that they didn't go through the same thing, the same struggle that they're going through. I want to just shine a light on them by just giving them hope. And, and that's why the Felipe Lopez Foundation is, is, is providing these kids. For Sajan to be able to give it to me this year, I felt very special. I felt like I went back to school and, uh, and was able to actually officially finish what I had started many, many years ago. It just put a stamp to just knowing that, you know, I put some great Four years at St. John's, not just uh, in the basketball court, but also academically. It's something that I can show a lot of my athletes that I, that I work with, that it was just not about you know, playing in the NBA, that I actually did graduate from St. John's. So it's a very special uh, feeling. About a week or two of classes, I was being told I was a prodigy. If you don't have an exciting life in New York City, it's your fault.